<coughs> but the most important is just really skipping to round 3 and hoping for the best. Uh. Really just hoping for the best. Uh. This team here is much easier to beat for your Reflectile team. You just basically early game, you just want to throw cards into this guy. You want to throw cards, kill off this guy and let the Reflectile 1 versus 2 of them. It's a very, very simple matchup here. Protect your front early first two rounds. Around round 2 or 3, you try to burst this guy. Hopefully you get an Arco or a correct draw and then you blow him up. He used up two cards here. Sure, he draws the cards. I draw the card as well. Uh, this round, I'm still going to play this like that. Because I still want to get value from If I can get value on my plant, I'll get value on my plant all the time. Uh. Oh shit, he has a freaking balloon. I sh I forgot. I I'm used to fighting the cuckoo versions. This is this guy caught me off guard. I wasn't really paying attention. But if you have a balloon, then you play one card here. Lah. Most probably he'll balloon you on kind of thing. Okay, so this round is much simpler for me. I can just play it like that. And I'll play a Kotaro Bite to follow up. Just in case he armors up this guy, Kotaro Bite will... If he plays this guy, I'll be able to Kotaro Bite the bad guy. And get energy as well. So it's still a win-win for me. If it doesn't, it still kills off that guy and wastes his energy. So this still gives me the advantage. And I have the speed advantage at the round this turn. So now I have 4 energy and this guy can just blow up this guy. And this guy throws a tiny catapult too. Now nah, Kotaro Bite will be fine. Axe Grimoire with the 7 man! Sheesh! Okay, and then this is pretty much GG right here. It's a very very... This matchup here, it's so simple for Reflectile. The double Aqua matchup, you don't even have to think. You pretty much don't have to think. Now this round, you... I can even still play a Tail Slap to be honest and a double Tiny Swing. I still have enough energy for the next round. It's pretty much GG for him already. He can't do anything. Even if he kills this guy, his Aqua cannot beat my Reflectile, no matter what. It's literally cancerous to fight Aqua Aqua Plant with Reflectile, to be honest. Ugh! Mirror match. But he has a freaking sandal. So, how do I play this? Either I go in early, but I don't think I'm going in early either way. Because I still need my cards to really play this effectively. The best way I can beat this is around round 3 or round 4, my Aqua has still HP, this guy, and I kill off this guy. That's the best case scenario for me. I need a round 2 or 3 HP to really... But this guy has Kotaro Bites. That's the bad thing about being a Dusk against a Reflectile team. He has the advantage in terms of Kotaro Bites. Huh? So I want to be taking out this guy. Do I need... No, I do not need my Cattail to be first. This should kill him off. He has a lot of energy though. Hopefully he misplays this round. 100, 240, 240, 300. This should kill. I want to be greedy a bit. Okay, good. I need the cards here. I need the cards here. It doesn't kill him. That's still fine. He kills me, I think. Okay, so that's fine still. I'm going to tail slap Arco, speed up. And then Kotaro into the guy. So the Kotaro play again is the same concept. Okay, I get to play a speed up into this guy. Do I want to play all my cards? That's the thing. Do I want to play all my cards or do I want to keep one card here for this guy and gain an energy instead? I think I'll do it this way. Because no matter what, I'll be faster than this guy. And I, if I can, I want to say Revenge Arrow for the backliner if I can. But I guess that's not really possible anymore. And since he's a sender, I'll always be faster than him. I keep him alive, he gets more card draws as well. So that's very, very solid for me. Um, he has a lot of energy. The thing is, he has a lot of energy. So I want to make sure he dies. I don't want to let him survive. I'm seeing a revenge arrow for this guy. He can just kill me with his backliner, but he played two Kotaros already. So I, the, the more obvious play is going to play with the Aqua, like, because he has a lot of cards, and, cards on this guy. So this is the pretty much optimal where I get to play my Aqua into my Tiny Dinos. This is the most optimal. I'm going to play Kotaro Bite to get more energy. Next turn, blow him up. 
this is one way you can beat a, uh, a mirror match. You want to be ahead of him in terms of the, in terms of this stage. In around round five, round six, you want your Aqua alive into going into him. This should kill him off already. And GG. Risky Fist Plyos version you can actually beat. It might be a bit. Ooh, this is a very very unique one. Where he actually has a bit of Goldas. I think this one I might want to go in on him. Because he doesn't have Egg Bomb, I don't really have to worry about the Egg Bomb play. I can just go front from back and I just need to pressure him. I think this is fine to just pressure. Cotton Tail. It's just how it works. Better save mental. Yeah, just, just save your mental and just skip. Don't torture yourself. <laughs> That's actually very good advice. Aqua Aqua play against Reflector. I'll just lay back and relax. Uh. Don't think too much. It's over. Uh, I played this way because most probably this guy will last stand and kill it. Hopefully he doesn't play anything. If he doesn't play anything, this is a very very good turn for me. That's if he doesn't play anything uh, on his plant. But the chances are low. Oh, he doesn't play anything. That's actually very good for me. Does that kill me? Oh, that's fine. I lose a cattail, but I... I gain a lot. He has attacked down and he wasted a balloon. He has attacked down and he wasted a balloon. Uh, round 1, he played 3 cards. Round 2, he played 2 cards. He has 2 energy now. Most probably, he's going to play Balloon Pop if he has it. He can play Godas, double Godas. If he plays double Gold, I think he played Goda round 1. But either way, I'm passing this turn now. Because I do not want him to balloon me at the end of the day. He plays one Goda, that's fine. Three energy next turn. Okay, this is a little bit tough to play this round. This round is tough. Because he still has his backliner here. And he can kill me very, very easily with three energy with his backliner. And it's round four. Honestly, I don't think I play anything this round. I skip and let him kill off my guy. Because he's probably going to do something that hurts like shit. So, that's a good pass for me. Now, he played double balloon. So, I'm not afraid of the balloons anymore. I know he doesn't have balloons. So, I just need to deal with this guy. He played two Godas. He's probably going to play a Sandal. And if he's playing a Sandal, Bawa would do more damage to him. He has three energy. He hasn't played any Sandals yet. Will he hit me though? I feel he feels pressure to hit me. But, you know what? It's also a very bad play for him to hit me. Because I have so much shield. You know what? The logical play here is actually just to play this. Because he doesn't... He can't skip as well. He can't skip. Am I overthinking it? Because I do feel he's going to play this guy. He has to play this guy. His bird cannot kill me. So this will be the best play for me playing double bow up. Let him use his melee cards into me and my double power will do more damage to him. Okay, and he kills him off. Good. So that was pretty much the, as perfect as I can play this game. Uh. And now I'm going to play Bawak and we GG that game.